Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Pam and I have been shopping. So I've been to Goodwill. I've been to another thrift store in my town called Oliver Gospel Mission thrift store and I also stopped at a Habitat for Humanity. So I'm going to show you all that. But first I want to tell you that starting in July I'm going to have my own booth. It's going to be in a neighboring town. I'll give you all the details when I get it squared away. All right. But I'll start in July and some of the items that I'm going to be showing you from here on out, some of the items that I already have, they're going to be going into my booth. So I will keep you posted and let you know all that info as it comes about. Okay, but first, let's go ahead and get started with the things that I bought this past week and weekend. I wanna start out with this cute little thimble candy jar, cookie jar. It's only about five inches tall, so it's not like your standard cookie jar size, but it's this adorable little thimble. And you know what, if you have a sewing, um, like a sewing mother or maybe your sister sews, someone in your life that sews, they would really love to have this, you know, because they, well, they might stash their candy while they're, you know, they're sewing. But they also, if you know, could just put some of their sewing supplies in here, some thread or, you know, whatever that they feel that they need to keep handy or maybe hidden away. What I really love about it is that it's not your white, but it's like an off-white, like an eggshell. And it has this really beautiful gold trim around it. And at the bottom, also the trim, but it has these little, this little flower. Can you see the flowers all the way around the bottom? So this is really precious and it would be great for someone that sews that's in your life. And I purchased this for about $3.50. I know that's kind of high, but I've never seen anything like this before. Not a thimble. And um, I'm hoping to maybe sell it for about 18. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna put it all in my eBay store or if I'm gonna put it in my new booth. I don't know. So we'll see. All right. Did I mention that's from the House of Webster? That's who made it. So I just wanna mention that to you. Okay, the next thing I have, oh, I, I did pick these up from Goodwill. All right, the Goodwill in my neighboring town, my hometown Goodwill. Um, they are Richard, let me, let me make sure I have his name correct. I wanna keep saying Richard Burton, but it's not Richard Burton. It's Richard E. Bishop, um, Game Birds. And you know, maybe, okay, all right, so, See, it's absolutely beautiful. They really are. Now, I'm, I'm not a game bird watcher, nor am I a hunter. I'm not into ducks, and I really don't like to eat turkey. But these are quite lovely, and um, they have the stems, because you know the stemless is really big now, but these have the stems so you can be fancy. And I have purchased these recently from that a local thrift store and they were only 95 cents each. So that makes them $1.90. And if you want to, you can, um, you know, have a nice little dinner after you've been hunting all day. I don't, I don't know. Have a nice little glass of wine to go with it if you're a duck lover, but they are quite nice. And I'm thinking of asking about $20 for the set of two. Okay, so we'll see how that works out. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, the next thing. And I know you guys see this everywhere, but this is, this is Monkey Pod. And I particularly like this piece because it has three little sections. It's like well, you know, it's called monkey pod, but you know, three peas in a pod. And that just reminds me of my little family because I only have one child and he's, he's flown the nest. So I may end up keeping this. I really like a monkey pod. Um, this is genuine monkey pod handcrafted in the Philippines. All right, the next thing, um, did I tell you about that for $2? Well, okay, so I have to keep the price tag on it so I don't forget how much I paid for this because Brian has made a spreadsheet 
and he keeps telling me that I get you're getting ahead of yourself you're getting ahead because I take the price tag and I'm like clean and stuff so uh, he made a spreadsheet anyway okay N next we're gonna move on okay I have two I found this at the Oliver Gospel two of these gorgeous brass butterflies now these are probably from the 70s or 80s that you can hang on your wall. I know my big hand is in the way, okay. And I paid $2.50 each, okay. There might have been a third one. I don't think so because the, they're the, both the same size. It's not like graduated from the larger, you know, the smaller and then the smallest. Uh, but they have these little movable uh, antenna and they're intact. It also has, and you can't really see it, a, a tag, you know, for the spreadsheet. And then um, they have their little hangy, whatever, rings here. Um, I don't know if they could be replaced. I mean, they seem to be okay, but I don't know. But these have been worn. They've never been taken care of, it looks like. I don't know, it was just a lot of brass and it's quite lovely. But I thought they were really cool. And let me see if I wrote anything down about that. No. But I did pay $5 for the pair. And um, I don't know. I'll probably put them in my booth. And I have no idea how much I will price them for. I don't think I'll. I mean, it's not like I'm going to price them for 50 bucks or anything. So it's not going to be a big seller. But they're pretty cool. And if you're into that vintage 70s or 80s, then you'll really love these. Okay, next, I found this cute little cup from the Habitat from Humanity. Look at it. It is so dainty. And it says on the bottom, always drink milk. And it has, and they all, there's like different types of these cups where they, this little guy is different, but it always has a little deer on the front. Um, this little cup, ha it's made from, or made in, excuse me, made in Japan. It has that Japan stamp on the bottom. It has crazing. It has a little bit of staining. Not sure if you can see that. But, you know what? There are, there are really no chips. I mean, the edges might be a little rough, but I'm surprised that the ears are not chipped or broken off. And I'm really surprised there's not big cracks in it because I believe it's from the 1950s. It's such an adorable little piece. And uh, I'll, so I'll have that probably in my new booth. So exciting. Okay, next up I found, where did I find this? I don't know. I don't know where I got this from. Maybe the Goodwill. But this is a brass nutcracker now i'm gonna be honest with you i've never seen anything like this when i was growing up we always had the the pecans that you had that little white not white it's you know like the silver looking nutcracker and you just crack it in your hand uh, but this one y'all this is like serious like you probably need to get a gym membership bef and start working out before you you know you start handling this one with pecans. Now, there are two different types or sizes, I should say, of um, nuts that you can put in here. You've got the smaller nut, and then you've got the larger nuts. And what is really cool about this is that it has, I don't know if you can see it, but it has this wooden handle. Wouldn't it be neat if that were made out of, you know, nuts like pecans or walnuts or something but it has that handle and like I said it is serious business so I'll have that up I, I, I don't know how I'm gonna put I don't know guys I just don't know so I'm not gonna I don't think I need to say it anymore whether it's gonna go on my eBay store or you know my new booth okay so that is it for right now um, I did go yard sailing. I have like my floor in there. So I want to sort through all that and figure out what I need to show, whatever. 
and I will see you again. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, bye. Thanks for watching. If you see anything you like, no worries. You can find it in my eBay store. The link is in the description below. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time.